have one, but you better have a Pikachu on your team because it's so hard to, to traverse the stage if you're slow characters. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but I think that so some of your slow characters, like let's say like Luigi or Mario, they don't have the best running speed. Yeah, yeah. They have really good projectiles. So in doubles, right. uh, they're they're great uh, characters to complement like Pikachu in doubles. I think that's why we see like SBK. Um, we see mostly uh, like Pika, Mario, Pika, Luigi. Right. Um, well, yeah, and Mar Mario's. Granted, this isn't SPK. I think uh, with these other stages, you can start using some of those SPK team sets to build a better team on some of these other stages than a Pika. As opposed to just Pika Curry, yeah. Okay, so. So we're in it. Um, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. so. People should have put the. All right, so CDG's off stage, or CDG, uh, Mr. Sir is off stage. So the Puff may have a little worse uh, ability to survive on the stage, because um, the stage is smaller, it's more difficult to get back. Um, Mr. Sir stays alive, so she's able to get back uh, on the stage after dying and save his teammate. Um, CDG trying to wall out. Job on Joshi to get over there, mess up CTG from taking Mr. Sir's stock, and now it's a lead for blue team. These are two of the surprise teams. Like, even if it was sure. SKG, it was a it was like CTG SKG, SKG, which were like a team they've never teamed before. You know, they were they were like other. seated at top sixteen, not like, top eight. Yeah, yeah. they like never met each other. Like Joshi, Mr. Sir. I don't think they met before because Joshi's only ever been no, to Genesis no, no. Four, yeah. and Mr. Sir wasn't there. Um, so they're like another like random team, just people that just put together. I mean, they're, both, they're both good players, but uh, we're seeing these two like just random pairs of you know decent players doing really well. They're in top eight. One of them's gonna get sixth uh, or fifth, you know, at least minimum. I think um, you know I don't know about Joshi, but at least uh, I guess I don't know SKBG either. But uh, at least CTG and Mr. Sir have played a fair amount of doubles before. Though. So it's not just that they're two random good players; they're two random good doubles players at the very least. Yeah. Um, which makes a huge difference. Like, knowing how to play doubles uh, makes it, especially if you're, because CTG and Mr. Sir aren't Pikachu's or Kirby's, uh, knowing how to play as those characters in doubles is a Yeah, I 100% agree. It's not always about just being a good singles player. It's about being a good doubles player. And we know that CTG and Mr. Sir have that experience. Talked a little about uh, Kira Kuropi, who was teaming with with, uh, huh. with Kronk, someone new, but, but, you know, he himself was actually not doing amazing in doubles because no, he just... He's not used to it. He hasn't played He's it. He's a most great years. singles player. He's an awful double player. Yeah. Uh, all right, so game is uh, close to even. There's a good stock lead for uh, red team, but that could. If they can get this kill on Mr. Sir quick, that could be eliminated for now. CGG at high so, percent as well. I like. Um, I don't Ooh. think Pika Puff. I think Pika Puff's an okay team. I don't think it's like a super great team. No, know, just because it's like it's like a Pika Luigi, but you know Puff just dies way earlier and, Ooh, nice. and their, their, their kill is very well worth setup. I do really like the Pika Samus team. I think it's one of the better teams out there. Uh, I think if people explore that team more, you could they probably find it's probably better than Pika Kirby in many ways. Samus has just a better spike. Can do a lot of stuff that Kirby can do. Uh, is just it kind of a safer recovery and doubles because you don't have to worry about getting edge guarded from someone coming down because your team will clear the ledge. Mm -hmm. But also the up B being invincible. And having pretty good hitboxes uh, and being frame yeah. one allows Samus to have better recovery. It's, she's heavier, she's gonna live longer, she can take more damage, her yeah. stocks will last. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, the spike and the back air are just so powerful and so strong. I think, I think the way the meta is going right now, it's not really uh, as focused on, on Pika Kirby as, as it was not, not even that long ago. But the meta right now is uh, what characters are good supports for Pikachu. I think Pikachu makes all the difference as being the, the active character. Characters like Samus, Mario, uh, Puff to an extent, but it's a little more difficult, are really finding a solid niche playing really good double support characters. Yeah, they're called they comp they compliment Pika. So I, yeah. I, I do think... I, and I think that's why Samus is I think is Pika's good. trash in singles. Like, I think he's actually one of the worst characters. <laughs> but in doubles, I'll, I'll say he's, <laughs> okay. like, he's actually necessary. You, oh, darn. you can't have a good team without a Pikachu. But I think Kirby... It's, I actually think Kirby's bad in doubles, and I think the best teams are not Pika Kirby. I think Pika Pika's a better team, and I think Pika Pika's a pretty good team. The difference is... What does another Pika add to the tool set of an already existing Pika? No, it, and he's already got that tool set. Right, it, it depends how they play a little bit. Sure. Uh, I, di I disagree on Kirby, but... <laughs> um, so yeah, it is, I mean, style, you come in with style, but you're not adding any weaknesses Pikachu has, which he does have weaknesses, even though you're doubling up. Small, you're you're doubling up. You're not, you're not covering those weaknesses, right? And any strings you have, you're not 
You're not sure. adding new sets of strengths. Like you're just doubling up. What was that? Yeah, they one get man. One, they get one man. So there's so here for the stage counter picking, uh, they get to the losing team gets to or the winning team gets to strike one stage that's not allowed to be counter picked, and then the losing team gets to pick from the remaining. Chooses four. from the remaining four. Um, Another thing to note, which isn't in play until at least the next game, is Dave's stupid rule is in effect. So if you. Uh, Win on the stage. If the so if the other team wins now, if, if CTG and Stevie G win, then they can ban a stage, and Joshi and Mr. Sir also cannot return to Battlefield, which they already won on. Yes, that is correct. Um, so, uh, see, uh, Mr. Sir is not playing. Stevie G. Yeah, so uh, definitely Samus. You know, one of the better support characters for sure. Uh, Puff. So Puff does have its advantages in doubles. Rest is a lot better because you can you can just wake up out of it, even just from melee or an explicit uh, wake up from your teammate. Um, but the problem is like Puff's weaknesses are pretty compounded in doubles. You die really fast, and you got to play very careful, or you're gonna melt stocks away. Really I think, quickly. and I think that those weaknesses, one of those is uh, good DI. From, Puff uh, is very dependent on setting up rest combos. Now, granted, Puff's rest might be safer in doubles because your teammate can just jab you. Get you out of it. Uh, the problem is the setup for rest is way harder because you can't flow chart in the neutral game because there's so many moving parts and there's your team that you rarely get your rest opportunities. Really, really where, where Puff shines is if you have a teammate who knows how to play doubles with Puff because you can get those same setups in a team's combo. And they already have their natural neutral control. Correct, but uh, if you're, and, and especially that's why it's a surprise, especially that Stevie G and CTG are doing so well together is because, uh, I'm just going to call them team. <laughs> uh, is because, you know, in order for, for CDG to get his maximum effectiveness, CDG really has to play to uh, CTG's rest strengths at times at the very least, uh, which can be difficult if you haven't teamed with Puff a lot. Okay, we've got Mr. Sir off stage. They really need this kill. Okay, that should do it. Um, it's not. Ah, no. uh, dang it. Yoshi actually just got Mr. Sir killed there. Mr. Sir was already recovering. Right. Because uh, Samus is our uh, Jigglypuff's uh, invincibility on the ledge right now. It's after like 60 seconds. Right. Uh, so he the nice kill I, from I, think, I think his thought was Samus is already definitely going to die. So she can't get back. And I need to punish the puff that's going to mm -hmm. over, overstay their welcome on the ledge. Uh, but, you know. So but didn't it, get it. it did, yeah. I mean, it already ran out and Mr. Sir. Yeah, like, there's Mr. Hey. Sir again. So. This is a. So CTG did a really good job there. It, you know, it, it's kind of a losing matchup there against against Joshi's Pika, but he just, you know, played very patient and occupied him, and Mr. Sir lost the stock real quick to Stevie G while, while that was happening, so. Uh, so this was, um, it was a pretty big lead to start out, because uh, Mr. Sir and Joshi, I think, took three quick stocks. Yeah. But uh, Stevie, G, Stevie G uh, and uh, they had uh, 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 Stevie G uh, uh, They're down, down a stock, and, you know, Stevie G's in a very good spot being at 150 Hey, now he's dead. Oh, but nice honestly, kill on Mr. Sir, though. Yeah, people talk about like, it's oh, close. They, got, they, got a, they got a two stock lead or something. Like in doubles, uh, if the if the percentage is high on your stocks, you can consider that basically a tie. It's yeah. Well, it it it's one of the more critical parts of the game. Can you take that stock on the one character? Because oftentimes, if there's a big mismatch in percents between two players on the same team, oftentimes the player with high percent can hide a little bit. Now oh, there's the rest. There we go. Nice jab. Okay, now it's a lot closer. Oh, dang. Well, so that we saw the power and the weakness of Puff right there in, in a couple seconds. Uh, you know, able to get that, that rest, bring it back, but so died under, super. Under 100 from the back here, yeah. Right. Um, well, so Mr. Sir and Joshi really in control of this set. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if CTG or Steve, if Team G. Uh, decides to opt for one of the uh, non-traditional stages, we'll say. Uh, maybe to throw them off. I think we'll see. I think they're Dreamland purists. I don't think they're going to change. I uh, can't say. But uh, was that the first rest we saw from CTG? Uh, 
it might have been. I don't remember when in the beginning. It was, it was either the first or or one of just a couple, and uh, they really they got to get more rest if they're trying to stay in this game. I mean, they, they they're doing really well without it, but if they're really going to take advantage of the characters they have, they need to pull off those rests sooner. Um, I don't think Yoshi's would be a good bet because like rest kills no matter what. Um, if anything, maybe FT would kill them. Oh, they're going double Pika, CGG. And then back to Dreamland. So CTG, I know, has played this a lot, and he's considering doing this against Mr. Sir. He, uh, he beat the little me last night uh, in, like, a money match. Yeah. Uh, game one was pretty close with last night. Game two, it was, uh, it was a blowout. But uh, CTG, he's got a pretty... He's got some he's got some habits, right? So that's why he's able to change. Right. right. He's got some you know, habits, and that's kind of common when people try to pick up Pika. They can be maybe proficient, but uh, they're going to get exposed at a higher level very quickly, very easily, because they, they see these stereotypes of, oh, Pika can just do this, and then they just do it over and over again. Right. Punishing, you know one uh, thing. Um, once you get used to those habits, you can get out of it. So uh, I think, you know, because it's like the first time you're seeing Mika, I don't think either of them are going to be adapted to his habits. I also think in doubles, oftentimes got, habits can hide. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Totally right. um, but even then, like, CG has really good fundamentals. Uh, oh, yeah. He understands spacing. He, he has good tech. He's not going to make a lot of mistakes. So I, I, so I wonder, if, there's two ways I could see that CGG motivated this switch. A is that he lost a lot of stocks to Mr. Sir. And he also, if any of you watched the uh, set yesterday, um, in singles, he, he's been having trouble with Samus. And he, he's been talking about switching characters and playing Pika is Just most having likely. having a counter pick. Right. So I don't know. I wonder if he was thinking, man, I really am not getting the rest. I'm not taking advantage of Pika. Or if he thought, like, damn, you know, Mr. Sir is, is giving me these hands. I can't. I, I need to do something to switch. Ooh, that was a... Mistake from CGG, but it makes it back. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think this is going to pay out for him. Uh, I think I, I think the switch isn't going to help. Joshi with an SD, but uh, only, yeah. So like here's like Samus at 117. I like to think of the down with stock not too. Because but but here's here's where I was saying. So Joshi has like no percent. If if Joshi is able to get in there and and keep Mr. Sir alive, then this is the most critical part of the game because they're not able to get the kill on Mr. Sir unless they're able to just finish the kill on Joshi at the same time. This is a See, huge, so, uh, an opportunity for a huge So, like, here, like, I always like to feel like in these settings, uh, you're tied up. Because if I'm the red team, like, people always think, they just look at a stop count and they think it's the same. What I see this, what I see is, that's a dead Samus and that's a dead Pika and it's a two-stop game. Well, and, and that's a good mentality to have because sometimes, actually, if you're if you're just hunting, if they're hunting too hard... That's a dead Pika and then okay. it's going to be a dead Samus if they got it, right? So they got it. So nice, now, nice. And now it's tied up. So, you're, so... Red Team did a really good job there, actually, because one of the pitfalls you can fall into is like, oh man, you know, we gotta kill Mr. Sir, we gotta kill Mr. Sir, and you go in too hard, and then he just plays real campy, and you yeah. miss out on Joshi. Samus is actually a good character to do that, because Samus has the, uh, right. the up E that can just invincible, big hitbox, fall on the ledge. But Team G actually did a really good job. They're like, look, you know, Mr. Sir's gonna be a little lame, that's fine, and they just took the stock on Joshi. They took advantage of 2v1 opportunities. Uh, so it's an even game right now. Ooh, nice, nice yeah, combo from yeah. Mr. Sir. I, I would say, uh, ooh, poor roll. Stevie G's at a dangerous percent, but I would say so are Pika and Samus. Yeah, it's it's not great percents all around. CTG's the only one with with a low percent, but he's on his last stock, so. Ooh, Missy cancel. CTG. So at this point, I would say it's a, it's they're down they're down. Next stock. next kill has the but, advantage. Okay, exactly Red's got the advantage. Now they're up. And uh, I honestly think they're going to kill go. Sam. So now they're actually in the lead, right? Yeah. But they're not really because this this peak is going to die really quick. I think this is a tied up game. If you ask me, this is a tied up game. And uh, like we say, there we go. Nice. <laughs> this is like Good happens double all the time. People get too excited to have their one stock lead, and then it, they're at like a high percent, so it's gone right away. Oh, that's it for CGG. Okay, uh, Team G on their, to be honest, their last legs here. They look, they look better here. I thought the counter pick wouldn't have helped them that much, but this is a way closer match. And if if CTG was able to Agreed. avoid that. Uh, losing that stock there at that point, the critical point when they're now in their final stocks. Um, if this had been game one, it would have been a different set. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, now they're just on, yep. you know, now they're at. Know, little two little bit one. too late. Uh, down there, please. Oh, dang. Back there. <laughs> they're going for something stylish. They I know. I, wa I wanted the fourth throw to, to Samus down there, but anyway. Uh, and that should be a 3 0 for uh, Mr. Sir Joshi. Mr. And Sir Joshi. We're going to get, I believe, uh, Dexter Marie Voss. Or maybe uh, tacos, tacos, I think it's going to be tacos, see.